folks, we are here with John who's been homeless on the streets of Dublin for how long? Six years. Six years. And what triggered your homelessness? It was uh, losing, not being able to deal with losing my son and my daughter when my partners broke up with me. So I just ended up here. And I ended up, when I came here, I ended up on heroin, I ended up on crack. But thank, thanks be to God, I don't do that anymore. I'm not more into my drinking now. How did you manage to, did you go like on the rehab or? Yeah, I went on a rehab so I did, yeah. I was on the methadone and all that there. And uh, I just decreased it and got off it as soon as I could. And that helped? It helped, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What is it like to be homeless on the streets of Dublin, tell you? It's very dangerous. Is it? People are getting stabbed, their throats cut in their sleeping bags. It's very, very dangerous. Because a man is homeless doesn't mean he's uh, abusing these substances. I've been in and out of hostels and I've been living in tents. Um, so altogether, probably on the streets, probably five years. You say I'm not blind, I'm a con artist and a fake and a phony. I went into care of the HSE and I went from care home to care home. There's a high proportion of them are probably drug addicts right. and crack addicts. Cocaine yeah, is yeah, the problem yeah. in Dublin. And, and heroin. I don't, when I was a kid, that I had to get my sisters out of the house because the house went on fire and I was, was the only one that could, because the rest of them were all underneath me, my age, and my ma, my dad, and my little brother died in the fire. And, uh, I'm an alcoholic, but I haven't drank in 19 months. And uh, I went through a bad time with drinking that and got into drugs and that. And just... What about, what about like uh, help? Uh, do you get help? There is, yeah, yeah, there's plenty of help in the Simon community and all that there, yeah. There is plenty of help. But uh, most people on the street don't want to go and look for help. They just rather stay out. It's the way of life. All right. What would you say, you know, is that most of the homeless people in Dublin, are they like drug addicts or are they genuine homeless people as well? And I see a high proportion, a high proportion of them are probably drug addicts. Right. And crack addicts. Crack cocaine is yeah, yeah, the problem yeah. in Dublin. And, and heroin. And heroin. Yeah, most of, but most of the ones that you see in the street aren't really homeless, but they use the homeless as a, as a means to getting food and all, no, for free. So most of the, the ones who declare they're homeless aren't really homeless. Where, 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 are you, where are you from? Are you from Dublin? I'm from Belfast. From Belfast? I'm from Belfast. All oh, right, so you're northern, are you British? Or? No, well, I'm Irish. I don't, I don't identify as being British. All oh, right, so have you got British I have a dual, citizenship? No, I have a dual identity. I take, I take the Irish passport. All oh, right. I'm in a position where I can either be British passport or Irish passport, so I take the Irish passport. I'm Irish. All right, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, they can stick their brother's passport up their arse. I'm Irish. End of story. Even though you're from Belfast, but Even you, though, you yeah. feel Irish and yeah, yeah, you yeah, will yeah. not take yeah. a British passport. No, no. What do you think about the border between Northern Ireland and, and Ireland? Is that an issue? Well, it's, 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 virtually, it's virtually not there anymore. Back in years ago, years ago it used to be, it was pretty tight, clamped down and all that there. But nowadays here, it's pretty easy going, easy flowing back and forward over it. So I don't really recognize the border being there. Right, right. No, yeah. no, no, I don't see it, no. That was the problem with the, <coughs> the Brexit, that the, the border yeah, yeah. would have to be there and the, the Irish didn't want a border or the Northern Ireland. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a physical border. Yeah, but it's, so. but it's, I mean, as far as, far as what I know and as far as what I see, yeah, it's, a, it's easy come, easy go back and forward over the border. Right, John. And uh, well, tell me more about <coughs> yourself. Uh, what was your job? School? I mean, I was a, I was a barber. Barber. <coughs> I was a barber. Hairdresser. Yeah. I worked on building sites. I worked on, worked on oil rigs. I worked in different places over oil the years. Oil rigs as well. Oh, yeah. Ireland's got oil rigs. Oh, yeah. Where about? No, out in the North Sea. The when North I was over, I used to go to the North Sea. You were British then. Yeah, but it's, you're working for British. So that's all right. I was more interested in the money, not the British, because <coughs> yeah. it was good pay. So you've done all sorts of things? <coughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, what about the, the, the family of the two children, did you say? Uh, that you... I, I still, I'm still i still in touch with them, yeah. <coughs> I'm still in touch with them, so everything's okay. 
you still in touch with <coughs> yeah. the island. <coughs> we are in Ireland. Yeah. And, uh, you see, if there's somebody watching this and would like to help, is there any uh, contact on for you, like phone number? I don't, I don't have a phone number. What about email or anything? Like that? <coughs> I've got that. I have no phone, no email, so no what. What happens is people have to. Look at the, but they will get me through the homeless, through the register as homeless. They will get me up in the uh, the homeless place. In the, in the because, homeless place. Yeah, they Where about? Up beside the CC Central Criminal Court. Okay, that's where yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they can find you. <coughs> yeah. All righty. Uh, well, tell, tell me more about like uh, life, life in Dublin. So, how, what was the situation now? Is it? I mean, don't get me wrong. I thought Dublin. I didn't think Dublin was as bad as what it was until I came here. <coughs> but I've seen some horrific things. I Why seen is it that. Bad? Why would you say that? Because of the the ratio of the drugs and. People on drugs out of their head all the time and all that. There. I never seen the likes of my life in the north. <coughs> in the north, in the north, it was almost controlled by the IRA. Down the north, there was no drugs at the IRA city. Up here, there was no one to do that. So I got my eyes open in that way, but I had to grow up quick and learn fast to survive. All right. <coughs> What's that? You, did you, you said that you, you spent some time in jail. What, what did you do? Like the jail? Didn't you? <coughs> no, sorry. <coughs> I've done a few sentences in jail. Okay, done right. a few. Only minor things. Only minor things. All right. How long did you spend? There? Probably 18 months. 18 months. But you've learned your lesson quickly and the Oh yeah, don't go back there, no. Was that in, I in Ireland? Did you do that in Ireland? Yeah, yeah, in the nor north of Ireland. North of Ireland. Uh -huh. yeah. But here, it's not something I'll go back to. You know what I mean? No. No, no, that, that, that's a young fellow's game. It's not for an old man like me. Oh, it was uh, uh. Right, that was some time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lessons. It was all right. And, uh, when, you, when it comes to like people in Dublin, do you because you see the people on the streets? Uh, do you get a lot of tourists? Where, where the tourists are coming from in Dublin? What do you mean? You know, where, where, what countries people come from? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I find out where they come from. There's a, there's a, a vast selection of many countries in Dublin, Poland, Romania, this that. But I kind of get on all right with most of them because I kind of know them because they don't bother them. You know what I mean? There's lots of, lots of, <coughs> Adam is pretty very much multi-culture. There's a lot of migrants yeah. uh, around. All right, my friend, well, thanks a lot for this tattoo. No problem. All the best. God bless you. What's right. that tattoo here? Love. Love. Let me just... That's the one. That's the one. Love. That's it.